What is going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And in this video today, we're doing something a little bit different where we're making sort of like a concept on what a potential level limit break would look like on a character that currently does not have one. And the character that we're looking at is Luffy and Ace. And the main reason why I wanted to do Luffy and Ace and the first character that really popped into my head is because this is going to be the next episode of the Legends of OPTC, so that's obviously very exciting. But I think it's also kind of interesting because this was the first dual legend in One Piece Treasure Cruise. And as we know, dual legends aren't going to be receiving a super evolution. Well, at least not to our knowledge, because if they were able to do a super evolution for dual units, they would have already done it by now. So our only real hope is really just you know, banking on the fact that level limit break is going to buff these characters. So that's what we're doing today. We're over here on the database and I've just inspected the element to change some of the information to what I personally would like to see from a potentially buffed level limit break version of a Sugo Fest exclusive. And of course, we have Luffy and Ace. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So Luffy is a quick fighter free spirit and this is the captain ability that we have for him. It says at the start of the quest, reduces characters required number of times, switch effect must be used by six. So this is the exact same wording as the uh, Beast Pirates crew dual unit where at the start of the quest, if they're the captain, it reduces the amount of times you need to super switch or you, to do the regular switch to get their super switch. Um, by six, right? With, with Kaido crew, it's eight, but for the, you know, the actual build of that we're going for here, it's only going to be six. So six is going to be their super switch. Then Luffy will also boost the attack of free spirit by 4.5 times and boost their health by 1.2. So the health has not changed, just the attack multiplier and also reduce damage take by 15%, which is the, also the exact same. And then he says, if a character's normal attack is effective against the enemy's type, changes that character's slot into their own type in the following turn. Essentially, when they hit with type advantage, they get a matching slot in the following turn, which I think is going to be a huge benefit to the way this character is kind of built. So now let's go ahead and have a look at Ace's captain ability. So Ace is a little bit different where Luffy was a uh, free spirit fighter and being a quick unit. Ace is a strength unit and he is free spirit shooter. So very, very slightly different. But Ace's captain ability, at the same at the start of the quest, reduces his super switch meter by six. Then he is a 4.75 times attack boost to free spirit when you have a matching slot. Otherwise, it's 4.25 times so you know has a has a lower floor and a higher ceiling so that's kind of nice and also boost health by 1.2 and then once again if you attack with type advantage you get a matching slot in the following turn so this character is really focused around getting matching slots to deal more damage and then we can have a look at their combined captain ability so their combined captain ability once again has the same uh you know super switch meter reduction i don't know why the dual unit even has this considering it's not possible to have the dual unit at the start of the quest but it's always there because it is there on kaido cruise but either way now this time he's going to be a uh, a five times boost um, but it's going to be a 5.5 times boost instead if they have a beneficial slot as well as having 1.2 health and 20% damage reduction this time around instead of the 15% uh, from Luffy's captain ability. And if you attack with type advantage, you get a matching slot in the following turn. So he's very focused around getting the, uh, the you know, the, the, the matching slot so that he can do more damage. And now we can have a look at the switch effect. So for Luffy and Ace, I've actually changed their, their base switch effect where before it would completely remove their own paralysis, despair, and slot bind, where now it's just going to remove one turn of the crew's paralysis, despair, and slot bind, which you know is both a good and a bad thing because if you use them as a captain being able to just completely get rid of despair by switching is really really good but at the same time it is way more valuable to the team if you're able to just reduce not only despair but also slot bind and paralysis because if you use them as a crewmate it makes this switch effect pretty much useless so if you're using this as a sub you can still reduce paralysis despair and slot bind which is very valuable because you're not always going to be using this char character as a captain which is something you really have to think about when you're building stuff like this but it also gives himself a matching slot that goes through block slots so i think it's a pretty valuable effect matching slot get rid of one turn of all those nasty debuffs and i think it's a pretty pretty decent build but then you got their super switch so the super switch is going to be very similar in a way but it's going to remove four turns of the debuffs for all characters and then also change free spirit character slots through block slots into matching so again a pretty big buff and this does require the six switches as we said because uh, that's the exact same kind of build 
build is this. So, essentially, the way that it works is, is that as soon as you start the quest, the super switch is ready, so you can switch to use it offensively to get a full board of slot, uh, matching slots for your free spirit characters, or you can use it in a utility sense just to make sure that you can have this ability to remove paralysis to spirit or slot bind whenever you uh, need to get rid of that, which I think is kind of cool. So, it means that you really have to pick and choose which one you want, you want to start off with because the super switch is going to be ready as soon as you start if you do use them as a captain. If you use them as a crewmate, obviously it's not going to be as easy to get that super switch, but at least it's there. And now we can have a look at the special ability. So the special ability has been buffed in terms of the damage that it deals. Previously it was around 70 or 75 times their attack and now does 300 times their attack. Non-type damage to all enemies. Now it will also lock the crew's slots for one turn and previously it would change all type slots into matching, but because I've added that to the super switch i haven't opted to do that but it will still be a slot effect boost previously it was a two times boost for one turn so we've upped that to 2.5 for three turns and then they become the dual unit for three turns but then there's an added effect that when the crew already has a slot effect boost when you launch the special instead of giving you the orb boost because you already have it when you launch the special reduces the character's required number of switch effects or number of switches you need to use to get their super switch by six you get a one turn 2.25 times attack boost and then you also only become the dual unit for one turn and that's kind of important because you've activated the special when you already have a slot effect boost active and you're using it to reduce your super switch which means that you don't actually want to become the dual unit for too long because it means that you have to wait even longer to use that super switch which you want to get. So, I mean, it, it's built in such a way where you can use both specials on, like, a, like a mini-boss stage, and then you could go ahead and, you know, use another switch effect once you move into the next stage, which is kind of the way that it's kind of structured. Um, I was also considering potentially adding more stuff to the super switch, like, maybe, like, for one turn, um, you know, Luffy and Ace, they have super effective damage, which would be very, very good for their captain ability, so they can maintain matching slots, but I think that is a little bit broken in today's day and age if you have a character that can do all of this, plus their rainbow effect. I think that is a little too steep, but I think that you could add maybe more utility effects or have an effect where they just bypass defensive effects with their normal attacks. That could also be a really, really nice effect to add to their super switch. But of course, this is just a very brief rundown of ways they could buff this character and they could definitely do some other really weird and wacky things like they could add some more utility pieces into the captain ability. I added the effect of being more offensively focused of getting matching slots every time you hit with super effect damage but they could just completely drop that and add in like a despair removal or a paralysis removal or special reverse removal in the captain ability itself and i think that would be a huge asset to the character too um but of course i've gone more offensively focused which i think is still going to be a huge huge benefit to the character and definitely makes the character way better way more usable in actual content which i think is great let's just explore the pyramble rumble stuff real quick because i have not touched this at all and i actually don't even remember what they do so they give level five buff to free spirit and level two crit to free spirit and it's unfortunate because with level limit break characters receive buffs to their pyramble rumble kits but they're not very significant buffs like they're very minuscule like hypothetically if this character did receive a level limit break they'd probably buff this to six and buff that to three and that would be it for their passive so yeah that this needs to be changed a little bit they could maybe add like every time this character hits a crit you get an additional like level one or level two attack buff to free spirit that'd be pretty nice or even a defensive increase would be good and then you got their special ability 27 ct applies level three attack and defense to free spirit for 20 seconds and then it does 0.65 times their attack in damage to all enemies in a large sideways range so the buff i think is great maybe buff it to four or five and then the damage obviously needs to go up this needs to be at least a 2x multiplier and on a 27 ct with that passive i think this would make the character somewhat usable however of course this character has a lot of overlap with other really powerful free spirit characters such as like ace and yamato or luffy and the straw hat so yeah a little bit of competition in terms of their pie rumble kit but despite that they probably do need need needed some type of you know pirate rumble buff so that's going to wrap it up for me in this video today let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this video in terms of what kind of buffs you would like to see from luffy and ace if you guys have any other opinions on that i would love to hear it um and of course you know we could definitely explore more of this as time progresses because i know a lot of people like to discuss on what kind of buffs characters will receive and how they'll become more usable in one piece treasure cruise so i'm definitely looking forward to making more videos like this down the line so hopefully you guys 
guys enjoyed the video today and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video